So in this emotional grid work, um, I know you talked about um, emotions a lot yesterday, and it seems like emotions are an important part of raising the energy of the grid. They are only important in the sense that they are indications of the state of your vibration. In other words, what your emotion equals is the relationship between the vortex, your inner being, who you really are, and where you are in that thought process. So when you're up to speed, you feel clarity. When you're not, you feel confusion, emotions. When you're up to speed, you feel exhilaration. When you're not, you might feel lethargy, emotions. When you're up to speed, you feel love or appreciation or passion or eagerness. When you're not, you feel anger or frustration or defensiveness. So can you use emotions as a way of uh, your entree to raising the vibrational level of your grid? We think it's really important to have awareness of your emotion to know where you're at. There are two ways to know the vibrational content of your grid. One, emotion, how you mm -hmm. feel. Two, mm -hmm what's manifesting okay. and emotions are really the better way because it's pre-manifestation right. in other words it's a lot easier to refocus in the absence of a manifestation that you don't want just in the right. feeling of it than it is in the full manifestation because manifestations get your attention right so if you don't do the work through the emotions then don't you worry end up, it will get bigger you'll get the manifestation Yes. So what I what I I'm wondering then if I delight myself with music or you know doing something that really makes me feel wonderful. Perfect. Then that is the clue that I've already raised my vibrational yeah. grid. Yeah. That's yeah. what that's often why you're drawn to music. It just feels good. Right. And it's interesting because everything that you think you want is because you think you will feel better in the having of it. And isn't it nice when you figure out how to feel good just because you want to? Right. You've got control of your vibration. Then you've got control of your point of attraction. Then you've got control of your manifestation. Right. So it seems to me then as you talk about the grid, what you're saying is that the longer you stay in a powerful, uplifting grid, the more things will just kind of invariably work for you. That's absolutely true. But we want to qualify that in this way. We don't want you to have the attitude that you must get there and hold yourself there okay because you can return there anytime you want and that pressure will work against you if you're right. determined to get in, to maintain your grid in other words just move softly through life with attention to the way you feel and when it starts feeling off go general and get it back on again guide right. yourself granddaughter Kate used to love to play the hot cold game where she would hide something and then Jerry and Esther would go to find it and when they were close she would say you're getting hotter you're getting warmer you're getting warmer you're getting warmer you're hot 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 and when they were nowhere near it she'd say you're so cold you're, you're very cold and, and she would guide them right to it because she knew where they were and she knew where it was so just by giving that simple indicator of hot and cold eventually they would find their way there it was really simple moving further from it moving closer to it moving further from it moving closer to it, it didn't take any time at all to zero right in on it right. you see right. if they were listening to what she was saying and if she was saying it accurately which your emotions always are right so there's a lot of trust that I can have in my emotions well you'll have to teach the trust to yourself we don't expect you to take our word for it but if you don't trust your emotion you've got nothing mm -hmm. because that is the guidance your emotions are your clear indicator between where you want to be and where you are right it could not be simpler but a lot of people have practiced not letting themselves know how they feel and not responding to it because they've listened to others who have convinced them I know you don't feel good about this but do it anyway because right. a lot of people around you are serving themselves not you right and many of them think they're serving you they believe that your life should be hard in order to teach you the lessons that they have learned right. right but it isn't working out for them and it won't work out for you right Okay. so you're right trust or faith is involved but it doesn't take much because when you play with this just a little bit the universe will give you the evidence that will give you the knowing and then you're off and running right 
And that evidence will be in the form of a feeling of what? Resonance, as you were saying yeah. earlier. At first, you'll feel emotion about it. And we like to say that the emotion is the first manifestation of it. In other words, when you receive an emotion, your grid is beginning to fill in already with energy or the energy of the vortex and the energy of your grid are joining one another. And that's that feeling of resonance. That's feeling of love. That's that feeling of appreciation. Right. And as you're able to maintain that right. just for a little while, then more evidence comes like words from others or ideas flow into your mind or impulses to do something come to you. So that sounds like a good description of what you mean by resonance. Yeah. We think yeah. so. Yeah. And so resonance is kind of like this appreciation, this uh, connection with the vortex. Let's define resonance. Okay. Resonance is the conscious awareness of a good feeling. And therefore, it's the conscious awareness that I, in this moment, am vibrationally equivalent to my vortex, to my source. Mm -hmm resonant mm. so it's that harmonic sense yeah. you'd, you'd use the word harmonic earlier today and it just felt it felt very what uh, just connected just very you know like there's a energy matrix if you will of just a joining of the vortex and the grid it's, in it's a good. way that feels so uplifting good it's good to introduce the word harmonic here also because in harmony often it's different notes but they are mm. resonant right they all fit together so so in this whole piece there's a, a lot of sound like qualities I mean we're talking harmonics we're talking resonance and it almost feels like we're describing sound but you're well, really we aren't talking... really but humans understand the vibration of sound sooner than they understand the vibration of sight or the vibration of smell or even the vibration of touch even though all of your physical senses are translations of vibration sound is the one that you are easiest to recognize as being vibrational when you talked earlier today about feeling um, there's that my understanding of it is although we're talking in sound terminology what we're really looking for is that feeling of well the sometimes resonance. people want to find the distinction between emotion and feeling and we want to say that they're the same thing however an emotion is an awareness of vibration where we could say that a feeling is a further manifestation of that resonance or of that vibration in other words when goosebumps ripple up and down your body we think it's gone past emotion into feeling right and it can go the other way too when anger translates into pain in your body it's gone beyond emotion into feeling right and so if if you are saying it this way then one step above emotion of intensity above emotion is feeling that's accurate to say and the degrees of manifestation are are going to continue to come in other words you could say that an idea comes and then a step above that would be somebody meeting you and talking about it in other words the ways that the things will come into place when you really are resonant with an idea that's in the vortex for a long period of time you become such a cooperative component to it that all kinds of things come for the support and escalation of it Mm -hmm. And that's what we meant earlier when we said even sometimes there is a harmony in something unwanted coming to boost it beyond. That's a new place that we went together today. Right. And we think it is a good place that we went together today. And once you are past feeling guilty about negative emotion and are still embracing it as evidence, we know you like those little... Mm -hmm bumping things on the side of the road that let you know that you're about to go off into the bar pit Jerry loved them when she wanted to wake him up from his nap she would just get on them <laughs> <laughs> brought him up every time I think so well thank you very much yes indeed
There are a few hands up, so stand if you think it's you. Yes. 